Hello friends, now we study mercury barometer. Now this is nothing but a device used for measuring the pressure. So very first device that is used mm, for measuring the pressure. Now what is it is nothing but it consists of barometer, it consists of a glass tube sealed at one end and mounted vertically in a bowl of mercury so that the open end of the tube is submerged below the surface of mercury in a system now at this point what will happen if, if there is zero level is there in the uh, that is a, in the mercury so how the it will look like so the pressure will be looked like like this now you can see this is the nothing but the pressure now from here we can see uh, this is a system or a tank storage tank and it is nothing but the barometer the one end is under the liquid and another end is free so this is how the mercury is barometer is uh, used now what we can see that here at a atmospheric pressure at a normal pressure so we can see the level of the mer uh, that liquid is around here only so what it says that there is a zero pressure over here now you can see this is a zero pressure level that is atmospheric pressure is acting on the liquid and it is showing a uh, in that barometer it is showing the zero level so this is nothing but we can see it is a atmospheric pressure so barometer generally gives the pressure at the atmosphere so we can see here so we can see here that is it consists of a simple thing we can see here it consists of a glass tube sealed at one end and mounted vertically in a bowl of mercury so open end of the tube is submerged below the surface of mercury in the system now system is nothing but open tank so it is a system now what it says that <coughs> when p2 is equal to p1 it is equal to the atmospheric pressure and the zero level is can be marked now we can see here how it shows how it can be done now here if p2 and p1 is equal to well, and that means there is a atmospheric pressure is acting and there is a zero level in the that is a barometer now if we in the second case now if tube is open and if different pressure acts on a that is a system and in the tube then there will be a difference in the level of mercury now if we see that if f1 is greater than p uh, sorry p1 is greater than the p2 then what will happen now we just see if p1 is greater than p2 so what will happen in this case the liquid will try to go down and the liquid in the uh, that barometer will try to rise so this is the case what when when the p1 is greater than p2 so what is p1 pressure acting on the liquid in the tank and p2 is nothing but the pressure acting in the liquid in the barometer so what will happen here in this case if we are increasing the pressure of p1 so what will happen the liquid will try to go down in the storage tank and what will happen it will rise in the tube so that is a case of a, a second case now here from here we can see that if p1 is greater than p2 then mercury will be forced down in the system and corresponding rise will be there in the tube so that is a second condition now from that we can try the equation what it says that now from the balance pressure will be given by so whatever we are balancing so p1 will be equal to p2 plus h multiplication by 
rho now what is h h is nothing but the h is nothing but difference between the levels of mercury in the system and the tube and rho is the nothing but the rho the density of a liquid what is liquid we are using here is generally mercury now we will directly go to the uh, diagram we can see here now you can see here what is h it is nothing but h is the level of the liquid now we can see here if p1 is greater than the p2 so p1 will be equal to p2 plus h plus rho now what is rho p1 is nothing but pressure acting on the liquid in the system p2 is the pressure acting on the liquid in the barometer h is the height after the pressure applied and rho is the density of a liquid now at this condition what will happen we can see that quantity of a mercury that has been left the system is the same as that of that has arisen in the tube so whatever the liquid that has been submerged from the that level so whatever the liquid is submerged it will rise on the tube so that is the case now from this we can write as a1 into a1 into d is equal to a2 into h now what is h we will see a1 and a2 are nothing but the areas of system and the tube respectively so we can write here the equation d so what will happen here how we have written this equation we have rearranged the equation in the form of small d so whatever one a1 is there we are transferring it here so we will get the equation like this now after that we can write for after getting that value of d we can keep this equation this value of d in this equation so what we will get h is equal to this equation now again from that we can write uh, we can again rearrange the equation we will take out the common thing h and we will get the this equation get the this equation now again we can see that we will replace the h in equation 1 so whatever we get the value of h we will keep it this in the this equation so what we will get we will get this equation now what it says that p1 is equal to p2 plus h whatever we have got this here and we have kept this so we will get this equation now the second case p p2 is generally taken as p2 is generally taken as a zero in practical cases as the tube will be evacuated and sealed so we will generally consider this value as zero so final equation is nothing but this so this is the equation is used for finding out the uh, finding out the pressure in the liquid or how it will be used we will see so we can see here in this condition what happens here we are it is ex exerting a one atmosphere pressure that means a normal pressure is acting on the liquid now if the pressure rise has been taken place so what will happen here what will happen so some weight will be force will be acting on this liquid and it will allow the liquid to go down and during that point what will happen the liquid around this will rise in the barometer so whatever rise in the parameter will be calculated by that equation so what we will get the value of p1 by that equation so what is the value of p1 from that p1 so whatever the rise in the pressure is can be calculated by that equation so what is the p1 so increase in pressure increase in increase in pressure above atmospheric level so barometers are generally used for finding out the pressure in the air pressure in the air as well as
change in the pressure in the air so what will happen at one atmosphere what will happen at normal pressure p2 will be equal to p1 so at one atmosphere there is a normal pressure now if there is no uh, that condition is not there what will happen if p2 is less than p1 so what did say that pressure has been increased above above the atmospheric pressure the pressure has been increased above atmospheric pressure so how much it is increased so this value this value increase in pressure one will be calculated by the equation so it will be calculated by the equation this equation so that is the application of barometer they are generally used for finding out the pressure increase in the environment or it will be used for uh, in finding out the pressure increase in the atmosphere so that is the use of barometer they are generally used for finding out the pressure of 